Um, been pretty uh, strange, to be honest, obviously, because most of my time is out on a pitch or uh, doing work to go out onto a pitch. So it's been kind of different, really, and trying to change my lifestyle a little bit. Um, just getting along with assignments and learning, digital learning, um, and looking at different ways to coach. It's been quite uh, refreshing, actually, to look at different aspects and um, what different coaches do and, and how I can change my philosophy to suit, uh, to suit different um, environments. So it's been quite interesting, actually. Um, boring on times, but uh, <laughs> been quite interesting, uh, actually. Do you think it's um, added a different element to your ability to coach then, like doing it sort of remotely compared to normal? Oh, yeah, massively. Um, I've just, I'm not, because of the time, obviously, with work and our and coaching, um, don't get much chance to read uh, coaching journals or, or learning um, through through webinars or, or listening to other coaches. So it's been really interesting to look at different um, aspects Um for one example, I've been reading about Ben Ryan, who's been coaching Fiji Sevens, and they won the Olympic gold, and just changing cultures, and how how you've got to adapt. So they you can't make them adapt to you. You've got to adapt to the culture, and that's been quite a uh, strong a strong message for me, especially going into a new culture uh, next year. So it's been um, quite quite interesting and changed my my outlook on coaching, to be honest. So secondly, then, um, can you tell me a little bit about your career so far so your story so far in rugby um ah, well i've been playing rugby since since a really young age brought up through a rugby family brought up just in a rugby club watching senior rugby um played like most welsh player people do played all the way through um local clubs um and then started coaching and with um abraham schools to start in the do shield uh, and the 15s program. Then with USW, moved to Pont de Pre schools and coaching. We won the Dewey Shield on um, the Millennium Stadium, which is one of the proudest moments in my career. Uh, and then playing wise, I, I went on to play for Cross Keys a couple of times and I signed for Swansea and still currently at Swansea. Um, and from there, I, I got my teeth into coaching in Swansea University this year, which has been a fantastic experience with a great group of players and great staff. And, then, and so, so it's just been a, a progressive uh, uh, ladder, to be fair. Um, few ups and downs, but um, a lot of ups and, and a lot of learning as well. So it's been uh, it's been an interesting career. I think I could write a book on it. <laughs> um, some some good some good stories, some good characters along the way. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just it's it's quite a when I look back, it is quite it is quite an interesting career. Um, up to date and hopefully it's just an early part of my career but coach had become a massive thing for me my father was a coach uh, my uncle was a coach so I really wanted to get my teeth into coaching and then when I got into USW it started to uh, started to rise and rise and the interest became bigger and bigger so yeah it's been a, been a long old journey and a good old journey nice one so you mentioned about your career um, I think you're at a, another turning point now um, so as far as I know, you secured a place at uh, Millfield Private School. Um, how do you feel about yeah. that? I excited um, to start. I just I applied, just thinking, look, it's just to get my application out there. Um, Millfield's one of the most prolific and um, most famous schools in in the world, let alone England. Um, so just to get on the board and get an interview there was. Um, was mind blowing to be honest. A, a boy from Batal, but um, <laughs> again, interviewing one of the most um, famous schools in the world. So, um, yeah, excited, excited. Going into the unknown, um, if you're trying to be learning about differences between English and Welsh rugby because there is quite a bit, and, and just new environment, living away from home, it's, it's going to be exciting, it's going to be nervous, but uh, yeah, can't wait to start now in September. Oh, congratulations. Well done on that. Please do. Um, so, what kind of influence has uh, USW had on your story so far and building up to get into Millfield? Yeah, it's been massive. Um, obviously, uh, done a bit of coaching before I got to Millfield, um, to USW, sorry. But um, when I got there, that was my, re when I, my real interest in coaching. We come, you know, the lecturers, uh, Dean, um, ben Dan Dean Parsons, Ben Daniels, 
and Tom Cole have been absolutely outstanding to me. Um, Pav, who does the analysis, has been superb. And they've just shown you different aspects of rugby and it gives you a real um, insight to what it's like to be a coach. So the impact they've had, and they've all had different stamps on my career. So I'd be, I'd be forever grateful for, for the people involved and just the people around the sports park. Uh, Steve Savage was, was superb. Um, Hill Wilcox has been superb. It's just these people are good people and they, they make your experience a lot, lot better. And I can't thank them enough and I can't speak about them highly enough. They've been superb and really pushed me into a, a, my right pathway. So finally then, um, what has USW taught you during your time there? Um, so what sort of skills will you bring to Millfield that you've uh, obtained at USW? Um, a good mentorship. Uh, I think, like I said, the people that I mentioned previously have been good mentors to me. They've given me a, a chance to be a good man manager. Um, be organised, because you have to be organised as a coach. And I, re- I noticed that in my first year, especially with assignments, you have to be organised. And just the, bit, the skills to go out and coach on the field, which is probably the most important part, and to have the the aura and the um, presence to actually control a group, which is it's, it's massive. Once you get control of a group, you can do any they, you can do anything wrong, and they will uh, buy into anything you want to do. So it's been superb, and it's just to the probably the biggest thing is to have the respect for the people you work with, but also the respect coming back your way as well, and and that makes a good team, and it's been a that's been the biggest point for me the respect between the lecturers and the students on my course have been superb so yeah they they, they have had a massive impact for me and, and the skills they've enhanced my skills to another level which is um, I can't speak again I can't speak highly enough of them Nice one so just to just to finish off with this one what would you say to any students going to well to think about going into coaching in the future um, be true to yourself um, but always back your your philosophy. Um, it might not work out all the time, but always back your philosophy. Uh, and don't think you can walk into a room thinking you know it all. Um, you know, I could go into a room full of first year coaches on a first year course. I don't know it all. They know more than me. Some of them. Some I know a bit more than some of them. You've got you've got to be respectful of people's decisions and just try things. And and that's and that's the thing. Be try things and be respectful of people.